Hello, my name is Pat Morrissey. I volunteered as a facilitator for Conversation Cafe for six years here at Lasada. I am again here today with residents from the Lasada Senior Living Community located in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. Our title today is Collective Wisdom from Women with History, Souls, Courage, and Strength. We are being recorded for StoryCorps through the Cedarburg Public Library, courtesy of Jeff Messerman. StoryCorps' mission is to help others believe in each other by illuminating the humanity and possibility in us all, one story at a time. This particular group of residents from Lasada Senior Living share stories that are so important to them as they define aspects of who they are. One definition of community is a group of people who share an identity informing narrative. These residents have built their shared story archetypes into their sense of themselves. They have built their history in this, this community into their own personal history, and they see the world through the lens of those shared stories. The majority of these residents did not know each other before living at Lasada. They have come together from many different places and backgrounds. Lasada, the only county-run senior center in Ozaki County, Wisconsin, provides a community of a shared identity that reinforces their social bonds. The residents are enjoying friendships, participating in leisure activities, learning new skills, finding new hobbies, volunteering for the larger community, and much more. There's a song from a show called The Christmas Schooner where John Rieger has written the lyrics to We All Have Songs. The refrain states, we all have songs, we all have stories. We all have good times and times when things go wrong. And that's the life, the heartache and the glory. The heartbeat of life is in our stories and our songs. Today you will hear from the stories and songs of residents about their histories, their souls, their courage, their strength, and their wisdom. Before we begin our questions, we'll go around the room as each, per each person, person states their first name, their age, how long they've been at Lasada, and one interesting fact about themselves. From here on, you will not hear from all the residents, only those who choose to answer a particular question. My name is Eunice. I'm 103 years old, and I've been here two weeks, so I'm still re learning new routine, routines and names. My name is Helen Northrop Barlow, and I came to Lasada about a year ago. Uh, I have six children. They all are very loving and caring and are happy that I'm here because they know that I'm being taken care of. My name is Janice. I am, I think, 41 years old. I've been here a couple of years, I think. That's about it. And I would never join a group like this, but she made me come down. <laughs> because I come from a family of 18. My parents had 18 children. My father had one brother, and he said, if I ever get married, I'm going to have a lot of children. <laughs> and my mother agreed with them, and there were no twins. They were all separately uh, births. And um, I myself have three. <laughs> And uh, the most other than that, I think uh, somebody had 12 children. and But other than that, it was just three or four or five, something like that. But um, that's about it. <laughs> My name is Dorothy Thompson, and I go by the name of Dottie because there are three Dorothys here. I will be 93 in August. And it took me five years, three summer schools, but I did earn my Bachelor of Science degree in education and with a major in 
English and a minor in speech and music without any without any help from anybody no no what do you call it loans no loans no gifts no nothing I'm proud of that I'm Harriet I'm 77 I've lived at Losada for a year and I'm known around this place for my laugh I'm, I'm Elizabeth. I think most of you know me because I've been here since 2015. I'm 101 and three quarters, and um, my birthday is in August, and I will be 102 at that point. Um, oh, the interesting, the interesting fact is I can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I am Mary Hundredmark. I lived in the area most of my life and was familiar with Lasada because my mother lived here. And I have a sister and a brother who have both passed away. And I am 94. And I was a college graduate. I have a degree in teaching teaching, and I did ta teach a few years, and then we wanted a family, and so we adopted two children, and that was a different experience. One is very close to me, and the other has moved away and now come back looking for mother. And I'm happy here. I guess I have to be 15 years. Oh. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Mary. Hi, I'm Gloria Fritsch. I've been here a little over a year, and uh, my education was uh, from St. Therese School of Nursing and University of, Ill of uh, uh, in Illinois. Oh, should I? I can. <laughs> okay. And um, I have three children. And my daughter is the one that, when I wanted, decided I wanted to go someplace, she decided that this was the place to go. And, and she was right. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mary. Uh, Karthauser is my last name. I'm 92. And I've been here about a year. Um, my background is in music and social work, which I've done both all my life, musician and social work. I've got three children, one in San Francisco and the other two on the East Coast. Um, those two have just been here for the last four days, and my son just now left to return to Delaware. So I have no family here, which is the hardest thing for me. It gets harder every You can't believe how hard it is. Mother's Day, you know, all that. It's so... I'm trying to work through that. Maybe by next year I'll feel better about it. I don't know. But I, I love to play my piano. I entertain the other uh, women on and men on our floor, third floor. Um, otherwise, I play for myself. My name is Audrey Knuton. Um, I think I have had, had an interesting life. I've been married twice. The first one I had five children with, and it would rattled out, and so we got a divorce, and I remarried a minister, a Lutheran minister, and a professor from Marquette. And uh, so during those, that's, that's the time that I, my life, you know, came into, after you marry a man, uh, um, minister, not only that, but a professor, there's a lot that goes into that. But I had, we, my, my 
husband took a sabbatical in uh, in in China. Yeah, no, Japan. Uh, and we lived there for a whole year. And he, then when we got home, uh, we, what, did, what, what was I going to say? Anyhow, we, we took so many trips to Europe, and I can't believe that I have ever had that when my... <laughs> It's, it's sim so simple. So, anyhow, I think I have had a good life, and now I ended up here, and it's just really nice. <laughs> Hi, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm Marilyn Lalonde, and I live here about a year now, and I do like it. <laughs> I wish I was still at home, but I'd. Oh, interesting fact on that. Well, first off, I helped my husband with his business. And I had 10 children, and I came from 10 children. So, uh, is that enough? Yeah, that's yes. more, that's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> no complaints here. <laughs> okay. Um, my name is Amanda Johannes. I am 38. <laughs> Just a baby compared to all these women in this room who to whom I look up to. Um, I am a CNA and I currently am doing activities and I've been with Lasada for 13 years and counting. <laughs>